what's going on. Good to see everybody. Hope everybody's enjoying the, uh, New York City. We have a great weather. For those from my New York City area, I know y'all <laughs> enjoy the time. So I'm gonna be brief today. First and foremost, it's always good to be online and give y'all some tips to give y'all tools. Um, and working on some real good projects for you guys um, going forward. First thing I want to talk about, the last thing I want to talk about is, uh, is uh, the importance of, of the importance of procrastination. The importance of procrastination. Um, many of us are procrastinating on things that we should be doing. And I want to talk about that because procrastination is very key uh, to your overall development. The reason why is because when you procrastinate, sometimes you delay. Procrastination does not mean you're lazy. It just means that your thought process is stagnant because you might have many things in your mind, many things going through your head. Excuse me, that prolongs you from moving forward. That prolongs you from going to the next level. And sometimes uh, when that energy is not um, being utilized, it goes into other areas, right? So some of us, we procrastinate or we got uh, assignments and we got goals for ourselves. We might go into food, right? We might go into watching movies. We need some dope being that way, food. Uh, watching movies, uh, social media, uh, talking to a person that we really don't want to talk to just to get that comfort. Um, so if that furthers uh, our procrastination and doing the things that we normally should be doing in order to enhance uh, our gifts. I want to just talk about just the importance of don't let your procrastination prevent your promise. Right? So you have to learn how to be uncomfortable in certain circumstances. You have to put yourself in uncomfortable situations in order for you to overcome a procrastination. What I mean by that is make the decision. Okay? Make the decision. Those that may be going through anything as far as uh, being an entrepreneur or even a job, but make the decision and decide what you want to do and go through that process. Your decision is going to enhance you if you truly believe right? And so do not procrastinate with doubt, with fear, um, with anxiety, uh, but also learn how to push that energy into the right direction of where you need to go. Um, and so many of the young adults I talk to, is maybe some adults, I just tell them, are you procrastinating? Or are you procrastinating? Uh, most people that got ADHD, um, they're not lazy. They just have so many things going through their mind that it paralyzes them from making a decision. And so, therefore, they just lay down. <laughs> or they, they get comforted, you know. And that, that energy has to go somewhere. So, therefore, that's when you see them reaching for their phone. Um, and that's been a major uh, procrastinator uh, in this day and age, right? Because it gives you instant access. So, you start strolling uh, to release dopamine, right? Looking for likes or looking for social media and things that entertain you, right? Because your mind needs that stimulation. So you start to look for it in other areas. So the thing you want to do in those situations is make a decision. And so uh, I remember uh, somebody was telling me how to disrupt the patterns of our mindset. And one of the things I used to say is I used to jump in the cold shower, right? Because my body uh, used to, it knows what it's going to feel like when it gets in that cold shower. Um, so sometimes we have to just make the decision to jump in uh, without hesitation uh, to teach our minds to be quick uh, to make the right decision and push us out of our uncomfortable zone um, and our uncomfortable uh, situation. So I want you to understand that just because you're procrastinating does not mean you're lazy. Please understand that. Just because you're procrastinating does not mean you're lazy. There's things that's preventing you from making the decision. Make the decision, meaning feed the decision that's going to push you forward. Do what you say out of your mouth. Condition the mind, all right? Condition the mind to make the decision. Uh, when people talk about mental health, 
right? One of the things they talk about with mental health, they think in a negative way. Your mindset and your mental health is also a muscle. Your brain is a, is a muscle. So therefore, you have to keep training. You have to build it to be stronger. You have to build it uh, to grow, right? You have to put more evidence in your mind. You have to study more, right? You have to enhance it. That's your mental health. So when, when things come, pain come, and things come in adversity, that's trying to stagnate you, you're built for it, okay? So learn how to strengthen your mental health and stop you from procrastinating to get to your overall problems, all right? My name is James Bond, and I approve this message.